After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. We get just as many female as we do male inmates. The majority of the females that are arrested are arrested for prostitution. Females can be just as dangerous as the male inmates. Fortunately, I work with a lot of great people who are great backup. So you guys are back. What are you back for this time? Trespass. Trespassing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So how much do you charge? Let's just say I on a normal night. Staying at. On a normal night, how much do you normally make? I ask them. The first question I ask is, where are you staying? Mm -hmm, so if, budget, like... if someone's staying at the Bellagio or someone's staying at the Trump, then obviously I'm not going to tell them <laughs> three or four hundred dollars. I'm going to tell them a thousand or better. What's the most you've ever gotten in one night? One guy took me to a wedding. He didn't have a date for his wedding, so he took me as his date for a wedding. It paid me, he paid me $2,500 a day for six days. Aren't you scared that something bad's going to happen? I mean, that's a pretty dangerous occupation that you have. Some people like it's that. Like You're a, a 50, cop. 50. Your job's dangerous. Okay. <laughs> I have a pretty good feel about people. I mean, you can talk to them before you go upstairs and stuff, and you know. Yeah, and you can kind of be choosy. Yeah. yeah, like you don't have to pick somebody you don't want to go with. How long you been doing this? Since I was 14. Since you were 14? How old are you now? I'm 20. You're 20, and you are? I'm 21 now. Wow. All right, come on, ladies. Follow me. All right, Whitney, I'm going to have you first. OK, turn around and face that way. Spread your feet for me. So how much longer do you think you're going to be a prostitute? As long as people buy this I'm going to sell this OK? As far as having a normal life, Maybe when I'm 30. Why, is that old? Yeah. <laughs> really? 30's old, really? No. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna have a retirement party? In jail. The day I decide to quit being a prostitute, you guys can throw it for me. Be like, yeah, you're not gonna come here no more. All right, come on over this way. You know the drill. First row, don't get up unless you raise your hand. Do not talk to the males. All right, Ms. come on over this way. And so how long do you think you're going to be a prostitute? When do you think you'll stop? I'm going to do this until I am old and ugly. Oh, 30? No. <laughs> I won't be old and ugly at 30. Right? Well, according to Whitney, 30 is old. She might be old and ugly at 30. That's because she's only 20 and she thinks 30 is <laughs> old. No, um, I don't know. I actually would like to start my own business with this money, hopefully. What kind of business? Um, I actually want to open a marijuana dispensary. OK, I'm sure you know the rules. Sit out in the first row. Don't get up unless you raise your hand. If you have any questions, raise your hand. Do not talk to the males. They don't have any money anyway, so you're wasting your time. <laughs> OK, thank you. All right. You know what? They both enjoy what they do. They never give us problems, I guess, to each its own. Separate your feet. What's this in your pocket? What is it? No, I cannot. You can take it all off. I'll take it all off. Take it off. I trust me. I am. Take it off. No, do not you stand me up against the wall. I'm not trying you to kick have you. This no. Get off of me, you bitch. Who's grabbing my yeah, wrist like this, though? No. How? Somebody's grabbing my wrist hurt. No, do not grab my wrist like that. Do not do this to me. I'm not no damn criminal, dude. My wrist hurt. Do not grab my wrist like a criminal. No. Don't do that to me. Sit down. Ow. Oh, my God, whatever, dude. Do whatever you want to do. So what's the deal with her? Uh, she was disrupted in the courtroom. She was arguing with the judge, uh, started using profanity. Uh, while her case was being heard, the judge went ahead and told her to calm down. She didn't. I hate yep. Metro. I hate all oh, police. <laughs> Hey, look, I came here on my own recognizance to get my stuff situated because I'm trying to get back into school, and this is just really a disruption of what, what did you have to say? he just all of a sudden got tough, like, you need to sit down. Like, why, well, what why is that just, telling me? Well, why didn't you just sit down this 
Okay, but I, I'm like wondering because if I sit down, I, I was not trying to have no warrants or not trying to be in jail or not trying to do none of that. Because are you under the influence right now? So no, I'm not. I, no. Well, I was. I had like a couple of drinks last night, but I'm just really. But irritated. not today. No, not today. Okay, you don't do drugs. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. All right, sit in the chair and cool down. Amanda has to wait a little bit longer because her charge was more serious. Whitney got an OR, which is a owner cognance. She gets out. She doesn't have to pay bail. All right, Whitney. Are we ready for her? We are. All right, come on up, Whitney. Yeah. Count your money. Make sure everything's there. Have you ever had a regular job? No. Why don't you go to school? I don't have the time. You know, I have a two-year-old. You have a kid. Yeah. I did not know that. He stays with my mom, and like I see him every couple days. But he's in good hands. Oh yeah, the best. So off to work you go, huh? <sighs> Nothing I can say to convince so you to uh, change your occupation. I don't think so. Not Just yet. say see you next time. <laughs> well, see you next time. I'm not going to give up on you, Whitney. I'm going to okay. change your mind eventually. Be careful, okay? Right. Sad. So, Michelle, did you get some chance to make some phone calls? Oh, I can try and talk to you. Yeah, I did. Did you? Get some things straightened up? Uh, yeah, Guess. I got some things straightened up. Yeah, you get a lot calmer now. You should be out in three days. She only gave you three days contempt. That's not too bad. So, hopefully, they will see my side of things. <laughs> Good luck, Michelle. She seems calm now. Hopefully, she'll get through this process without getting in the chair again. I think she will. Yeah. We'll see. All right, thanks. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. and that happens a lot on our weekends, things can get crazy. I mean, you've got people coming in, if they're not maintaining order, if they're being disruptive, then it, it's very crazy. You have to be on top of everything at all times. You gotta make sure that they understand the rules and follow the rules. It's the only way we can make this whole, the whole processing work. Stand up straight. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. You're having a hard time standing up. You've been drinking alcohol tonight? It's not your problem. No, I'm just asking. <laughs> so is it OK to drink and drive in Italy? Talk to my, with my lawyer. With your lawyer? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Did you just spit? Emotional disobedience. I got her. OK, you're going to go see medical now. No, Come on. I want my job. No, you don't get to wear that right now. Excuse us. Sit down. She's Italian. You don't speak English at all? No. Yes, she does. No. How much Nothing. did you drink tonight? Nothing. No alcohol? No. I'm going to go find out from the officer what happened. Did she have an accident tonight? The witness uh, saw her driving out mm -hmm. of the parking lot. She pulled in a bar and passed out at the wheel. Oh. And uh, then patrol showed up, and she was still in the car engine running. OK. Was she cooperative with you guys? Relatively. Okay. Yeah, she's, uh, she wasn't uncooperative, but she's just so drunk that she can't right. really function. Okay. So she, but Basically, she's been okay. Drunk. She got a little bit of um, like she was out there. I yeah, don't know if you saw that. Just a little, that. you know. This is not her first rodeo. Okay. So, how much you drink tonight? You gotta keep still, okay? All right, Nora. You want to keep her here for the BP? But she's sitting still. Okay. Yes, sir. Huh. I'm gonna hang on to you so you don't fall. Okay. You okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Right there. There. And don't get up until we're here to tell you to, okay? Listen, if you cooperate with me, I promise I will get you through this system. You do know you've got to do a blood draw soon, right? No, I don't. No, I'm more. You don't have a choice. I don't want to. You have to. You I have to? Yes. It's what? It's, 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 it's what? the law, ma'am. It's the, the way that things work. What is the law? What is the law? Tell me. I'm just looking out for your best interests. You're going to look silly. No You're going to fight us. No interest. And you, OK, you see that black chair right there? That's where you're going to be sitting. It's not comfortable. I want the law. You can't fight it. You can't fight I the law. Can. I want the law. OK. We'll see how this works out. We'll find the law. You're not going to win. 
I will. You ready? Come on, let's go. Come with me. Don't be scared. That's good. We got this. Part of this. Hmm? All right, ready for this? No, I don't want it. Why? Because I don't want to. Nora, you don't have a choice. No, I don't have to. Nora, you don't have a choice. Put your arm down and cooperate. Since Nora, Since don't fight us because you're going to go in that chair. Come on. Just, what did I say? I said, trust me, right? No, you're going to put me in jail no, right now. Stop, you Nora, don't stop. Put Nora, me in jail. stop. You're already here. Let her take your blood. It'll be two seconds. No, Nora? No, 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 no. You're silly. Nora, stand up. Can, can Nora, stand up. Let's go. I will. Can you? There you go. We're going to go in here. Sit down right here. You chose this. You didn't have to do it. You chose this. Let's remember that. It didn't have to be this way, Nora. Nora's refusing her blood draw. She's not cooperating, trying to make it difficult for the medic to draw her blood. No, this is my decision. This is torture. <laughs> Try to relax. What are you putting in my veins, you stupid? Just taking some blood out. Just relax. <laughs> don't, 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 don't do that. It's done. Yeah, it's done, bitch. Was it worth it? Yeah. What did I say about a bad decision? Was that a bad decision? This is delaying your process, everything. I want to talk to my lawyer. Now's not time to be demanding things, ma'am. No, well, I'll talk to my lawyer. Come you on. will. Stand up, stand up. There you go. Come on. Let's go in here. All right, right here. Put your knees up here. Right here. There you go. Oh. Stay in that position until you hear the door shut. All right. Give her a little more time to uh, sober up. She'll be able to come out of the side cell. She'll be able to come out and, and finish with the process. All right. Are you better? Yes. OK. What have you been doing today? No, I'm just like thinking about it. Do you, um, are you sobered up? Yes, ma'am. OK. I'm just wondering, because last night you were kind of mean. You're in no, a better mood? OK. Is that usually what happens when you drink alcohol? Yeah. I begged you to do it the I simple know. way. I told you don't go to the chair. I know. All right, but you know what? When you're under the influence of alcohol, I know you become a I whole know. different you, person. You talk totally different. I mean, you can see now. Like, Absolutely. This is really oh, mean, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, Whoa. just, oh. Horrible. I'm just like, I can't even. Well, and maybe use this, you'll always remember, to help you not to drink, right? Right. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much, guys. I apologize. Thank you. Okay. We know. We know. I really apologize. All right. Every time. It just takes sobering up the next day for the apologies to come. Totally different person. Totally different person. The one thing I've always liked about working here is when it gets busy and we gotta really go for it, everybody comes together and we work as a team. There's a good band of brothers and sisters that we have here, and with all, without all of us working together, we couldn't get our job done or our mission accomplished. No. <laughs> the two young girls you brought in today. Uh... Actually, they were stopped by security at Walmart mm -hmm. uh, after shoplifting. And uh, when I spoke to them after I read them Miranda, they both uh, admitted that they came to Walmart to steal clothes. Okay. They had about $110 worth of uh, property stolen. Right. And, and they were both very surprised because they thought they were both going to get away with a ticket. Well, let me go get their story and see how innocent they really are. And... All right, ladies. What happened tonight? We got caught shoplifting at Walmart. You understand this could affect your life for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you get found convicted of it, you could go to one year to ten years in prison. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. This isn't a joke. It's not. You're not going to come into jail, come in, walk right through, make a phone call, and get out of jail tomorrow. I guess we should have thought about that. Yeah, we should have thought about it. Um, who's 
Okay, you're gonna have two different types of charges. You got burglary charge and possession of narco paraphernalia, which means you had a little drug residue or something, the little roach that you had. You're also being charged with that. So if somebody doesn't come bail us out, guaranteed war gonna be in here till Monday. So if you're not doing anything over the weekend. Yeah, it's crazy. They sworn it together, right? Because you guys are co-defendants in the case, we're actually going to be separating you guys. All right. I could do that. Do you think this is fun? I don't think it's fun, but I'm no way am I coming back here. I'm not coming back here, but I'm not going to sit here and be sad about it. I'm going to try to be as happy as possible because well, it's, it's good to keep not, your spirit up. It's not a good place to be. We'll talk more when your paperwork comes through and we'll get through the process, all right? We just got a call that we're having a Code 5 male come in. It sounds like it's probably being combative. We'll see if he goes in the chair or walks. He called and told us that you were, you know, kicking the back window and... Kicking the back. I'm going to do exactly what you tell me to do, okay, sir. Okay, well... I did not I, kick I, I the back window. What happened before you got here? Let's put that behind us, okay? Yeah. How's that sound? No but, problem. But you only get one chance. One chance. He's gonna walk in. Go and step out. Hey, can I ask one, one thing? What do you got? Is there any way I can smoke one cigarette? No. <laughs> what they you arrest you for? You guys are gonna arrest me for an eighth of pot. Go ahead, for it. So for pot, that's it? Yeah, pot, what? Yeah. So do right down one. All right, over right. here to the wall. We'll lead him against the wall and do his shoes first. I'll be out of here in no time. You were drinking tonight too? Yeah, I have. Hey, do, do not lose those hey, shoes. I just got $90 on those yesterday. Shoes, uh, we'll your shoes. Do not lose them. All right, there's your sandals right there. Oh, wow. Got some orange specials for you. Nice. You got your ass. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that comment. Yeah. Straight down here. Where are we going? Yeah. We're going to let you uh, sleep it off a little bit. He was kicking and banging the patrol car, so we're going to place him in a side cell and uh, right. let him soak keep up going. for a little while. Keep walking. Keep Doing walking. what? Keep walking. Sir, just keep walking. No. What did you say? Don't, don't resist. Step out of your sandals. Don't resist us. I didn't do what you said, did. I didn't say. Face the wall. I didn't do what you said, did. Face the wall. Kneel down, sir. Kneel. Get on your knees. Okay. Okay. Get on your knees. Down. Okay. Stop okay. resisting. Okay. You're not going to move. We're okay. Moving. Do not yell. You understand? I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't move. Do you understand that now? Yes. Do not move. I understand, sir. I don't know what I did wrong in the first place. This guy's still a little fired up. Uh, he's been drinking too much and doing marijuana. He's going to need a few hours to sober up. How did you come across him tonight? Basically, as I was patrolling, uh, there was a citizen that held me down because he was uh, basically sleeping on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. um, I approached him to see if he was OK. Um, he got up, was very intoxicated. I asked if I could search him. He had that marijuana on him. Once he found out he was going to jail, he just started kicking the windows and uh, trying to get out of his cuffs. So I held a quick by. With this, what are you going to be charging him with? Um, it's going to be possession of marijuana less than one ounce. Okay. And then with the with pipe, it's going to be possession of drug paraphernalia. Okay. And it's got the residue in there, too. Well, thank you. Yep. Okay, Kayla, I'll release you on your own recognizance. We'll give you a court date to come back in December. Okay. It seems like you're taking a more effect to this, being here in jail than your friend. Why do you think that is? She's more of, don't give a f My mother and my parents separated me instead. Right. And I just now got on my feet, 19 years old, I working a job, I got my own apartment, you know, finally got on my feet. Mm -hmm. And then the news, this just kills it. This just kills it. She verified your information, so you will be given an OR. You will be getting out sometime anywhere between 12 to 24 hours, okay? I can't even explain it in words. This is horrifying. Worst thing that ever happened. Okay. This, is gonna, this is where you're going to be, okay? So. All right, go on in. Step on in. Good luck to you. Pay the consequence if you mess up. 
Hopefully she'll learn. Kaylin, so do you really understand and grasp what's going on tonight? I said I knew there was a possibility of going to jail. I just didn't know it was a felony. All I can say is good luck in court. I really don't think it's sitting in on her. Maybe it will tomorrow. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops have stole me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Working here for almost seven years, you, you try to believe what people want to tell you, but when inmates are trying to tell me that they didn't do anything wrong, and then I'll go check the records, and it's completely different from what they're telling me, and, and you know, I just learned to be a better judge of character. I, I don't believe a lot of things people tell me. It's just what we deal with on a daily basis. You know, Cheryl West? No. Okay, listen, one more time. I want you to what? face the wall, okay? Where were you tonight? What's the story? I went to the win, and then I, I don't know what happened, really. Well, what were you doing at the win? Were you, were you gambling? I was trying to. Were you going to mace me? No. Not if you mace You could have maced the officer. I could have. Relax. No. Nope. Nope. Look at the wall. Isn't that a pretty color? Why did you get arrested tonight? What's going on with you? Why are you, you so know what? upset? That is my question as well. Oh, you don't even know. No. What were you drinking? Champagne. A lot of champagne? <laughs> as much as I can. Wow. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that at all. Why did I get arrested? I'm thinking it has to do with your um, bubbly personality right now. All right, come on. Let's go get you screened by medical, OK? Why am I being arrested? Have a seat. Highly agitated right now. Yes, I am. Hey, I've got handcuffs on for no reason. I'd like to know why I am handcuffed. Why are you yelling at me? I'm right here. You are a very rude lady. No, I'm not. Oh, you really? Not too I want to believe that no, you're no, not. No. You know what? I don't know what I'm doing here, for, first of all. Suzanne. We're giving you a tour of the jail, OK? But first <laughs> yeah. step is to give me your birthday. You, you know what? I need a lawyer. OK. Well, you'll have your chance. But Suzanne, this is medical staff. You need to answer them. They're not it's the, medical staff. It's not, not a police officer. Cops. I'm not a police officer. Too bad. Is that a no? How do no you outfit? refuse that look? He, he gave you the smoldering eyes. <laughs> How do you refuse that? He's kind of cute, huh? Well, be nice to him. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to get your information for another reason. You know, you know, I'm going to get your number later on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to You think I'm going to really tell you the truth? You want to tell me? <laughs> I'll make it up. <laughs> Hundred two. Hundred two. I'd say hundred. Yeah. Oh, great! Just add a couple of pounds. The sweater. It's just the sweater. Well, it is. It's totally the extra <laughs> fabric and the turtle neck. <laughs> All right, Suzanne, you're anywhere. good to go. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I get to go. Okay, turn me loose. No, no, we're not turning you loose. We're not putting you back out she there on the street. Oh. Oh, Why don't you sit down right here? I'd like to know what you did. Okay, I was at my house, and I was like, um, drinking some champagne, and then I got in the car, and I said, oh, no, I shouldn't drive. And so I just sat in the car, and I was like, drinking the champagne, and I went, glug, 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 and all of a sudden, I, I, I'm arrested. And then, did all these cops come around? How many were there? Too many. Oh. One is too many. Oh, I mean, man. here's the thing. You can't arrest a person for not doing something. I just want to point out that you can't even have an open container in your car. I was in my own house, and they dragged me out of my damn house. Wait, I thought they got you out of your car. No. You got to well, stick you know, to your story. Yeah, I sat in the car, but Story's I was right changing. in front of my house. I, did, I wasn't Involving. driving. I, I didn't Susie, do anything. Susie, you need to find one story and stick to it. You keep changing Here's it up a little bit. If you can accuse me of a crime, you can Watch keep her. me. And if not, you better let me go. OK. OK, that's a deal. Her husband was brought in, too. Hi, Richard. What brings you two in here tonight? I have no idea. OK, what did the they... The cops came in for what reason? Who knows? They came into your home. They came in my home, asked them for a, ro mm -hmm. a warrant, and boom! I got thrown mm -hmm. on the floor. That's what happened. How did your girlfriend end up here with you? Better ask the guy that she was having her drive around. He takes all the money she's got on her, 
So he is using her. He's been taking her out of her. Did you have some kind of an altercation tonight? I told him I want the key to the car and I want the car and I want Susan. Mm -hmm. And he said, we're going to call the cops. I said, mm -hmm. call the cops. It's my house. Anybody have you tried to never... talk to Susie about this? I've talked to her. How can you talk to an alcoholic? Um, you'll be able to make some phone calls if you need to, OK? I don't know anybody here in town. OK. So why is she here, and why is he here? She made a phone call regarding a domestic disturbance call between her and her husband. Also, her employee made the same phone call. Both Suzanne and her husband both started saying, you need a warrant. You can't come in here. You need a warrant. We're not letting you in. They opened the door long enough for the officers to get, get control of the male half. When they went to take him into custody, uh, Suzanne came outside saying, what are you doing? You can't do this. This is wrong. You have no business doing this, and was not listening to the officers. They had to physically push her back so they could take the male half into custody. She came back into the scene. So with the, her not listening, she was taken into custody for obstruction. The male half ended up getting arrested for domestic violence and for resisting arrest. Now the employee, Carlos, he didn't try to get involved at all? No, uh, he witnessed the, the pushing from the male half into Suzanne, onto Suzanne in the apartment. And that's why I say he was one of the second persons calling in. Okay. Um, so you don't remember if Carlos was there when the police no, came? No, I was in my car in the parking lot, and all of a sudden, here come the cops. I'm like, I hadn't even moved a muscle. And I'm like, now what? OK. What the hell? You don't remember having a fight with no, Richard? No, I didn't a fight have a fight with, with anyone. You didn't have a fight with Richard? Believe me, when I come out, oh, boy. I come yeah, out you look like you can, you've got a good right hook going on. All right, okay. let's go in here. Since I don't know my way around. Well, we promised you a tour. Don't walk too fast. Don't walk too fast. You'll be sitting up there with those ladies, OK? When you hear your name called, you stand up and walk around to whatever area calls your name. Isn't it funny? When you speak to the arresting officer and she was nowhere near her car. Nothing. It all happened in the house. And plus, what the gentleman was saying, he didn't say it was anything to do with domestic, and that's exactly what it was. Exactly. He was trying to lead us to believe that it was between him and Carlos. Sometimes I really think that they say it so many times that they believe it. Yep, absolutely. I've been a corrections officer for almost 10 years. I've worked most of my career in booking, which I like because it's very diverse. You see a huge variety of people every day. Things are changing constantly. And I enjoy living each day for the unexpected. Right. You know what I'm here for, guys? I'm breaking the law. Obstruction. I believe that. Obstruction. Because obstruction, because I wouldn't open my Break door. Obstruction. Obstruction of justice, misdemeanor. Eight hours here, out, guess what, dismissed. You guys earning your money? Damn, good thing you got the drug dealers off the street, the murderers and the rapists and Oh man, obstruction, watch out man. This guy stepped off the curb wrong. Get him, get him, get him! He jaywalked, there we go, I jaywalked. Oh, I had a piece of gum on my shoe. Sorry about that, sir. Sorry about that. Right. Should I polish my shoes for you? Have you been here before? Yes! Okay. I mean, look at this. Hey, look, it's unlatched. Take it out of my wrist before it drills a Stop. hole. Stop. Look at this. Man, you guys are, you know what? Make sure you hold out of my wrist and keep breaking them. <laughs> Sorry about that. Man, what are you what? Going on? I'm not twisting. You are. You twisted my wrist. Can you get that one? You guys are all wasting taxpayers' money. You got this. It's just a little inebriated. Oh, yeah, a little inebriated. My wrist is swole up twice the size of my hand. You see this? Oh, for what? Obstructing? Mm hmm. A minor misdemeanor? Mm -hmm. Come see the nurse. So oh, yeah, I'll Come. call my nurse. Look at this. Come see the nurse. So, what happened with that guy? He was a domestic call at his house. Officers arrived, he hid in the closet, refused to talk to them, refused to lock himself in the closet like a little kid. And um, they finally got him out of the closet, and uh, he was arrested for obstructing. I'm transporting for him. I picked him up for the graveyard officers, and uh, on the way to jail, he just started talking, talking and getting tough for jail. 
great. So it was a great ride here, huh? Yeah, it's great. Good okay. times. Good well, thank times. you. Thanks. Big obstruction of justice here. We need some assistance here. Anybody got back up? You, sir, in the orange sweater? Back him up, please. You're not going to affect my serene environment. Stay on the bench, buddy. We're going to get us a side cell here. Put this guy away a little bit. He's uh, a little squirrely. Then you need to open him up when I say well, when open you say okay. my feet, you need right. to say Put that. Put your chest on the wall. Right. Look to your right. You don't understand well, that. What's way to right? Here. There you go. Your right or my right? Good job. Now we're going to exit the cell. Once we exit the door closed, then you can move. Do not move before the door closes. You understand. Huh. Came in for an obstruction charge. He's extremely intoxicated, so he just needs some time to cool off. Why are you here? Why? Why? Don't they escape here, right, right now? Or... Yeah, here, right now. <laughs> oh. Because this guy say he's standing because I try to make pee pee in one public place. Why not? Make pee pee in a public place? This guy say, but when I go to like looking, hey, the police living and they stop there. I don't do nothing. Then you stopped making your pee pee? No, no, no. I don't do nothing. This day, I make like I go to you know. She's telling me like. Well, now you know you can't make pee pee in public. I, I try, but don't do nothing. You know? Mm -hmm. In this place, it, it's in the middle of the street. Okay. All right, spread your feet. Good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't touch too much. Don't touch, don't touch it, don't touch it. Come on. <laughs> Be careful. All right. Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, take this off. We went quickly. Oh, all, all of it. Come on, just start getting naked. Oh, God. Take all of it off. Hold the club? No. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Are you artistic name? Yes. Go have a seat in the first row. Take a seat. Don't push me. Don't make me. How did you come in contact with Miguel today? We got a call where he was dancing inside the store, and when he left the store, he uh, was across the street with a cup. He threw it down, and when he saw my Mark Dune, he kind of like tried to hide from me, went around to a power box, um, and started to urinate in public as I pulled up and told him to come in front of my vehicle and ended up arresting him for urinating in public and for littering. And he was cooperative? Yeah, he was, a, he was quite a character. Yeah, very entertaining. Thank you. Okay, this is showing that you're here mm -hmm. for urinating in public mm -hmm. and for not I using... Don't I know. I try. I know. But next time, you need, before. next time you need to use a restroom and a trash can, okay? You're going to sit out here... I understand. You're going to sit out here in the first three rows. In anywhere. Anywhere in the first three rows. Oh, exactly. Yes. Very lighthearted and a funny guy. It's a nice change every now and then to get somebody in jail that's not mad at the world and wants to treat everybody bad. He'll be all right. He'll be out of here within eight hours, I would, I would guess. I'm headed down to Z3 to check on a gentleman that came in before I got here today. I guess when he came in, he was pretty emotional, and they had to isolate him for a cool-down period. Jack, I understand that when you came in, you were pretty emotional this morning. Is that accurate? You seem like you calmed down. I'm going to try and get you through the process so we can work on getting you out of here. You're just here on uh, obstructing, correct? Yes. So you're going to qualify for a release. Step on out with me. We're going to go straight ahead to that front row of chairs. While you're out there, they're going to call your name to several workstations. When they do, if you would just get up and go to that location. OK? Thank you. It's amazing how time in the side cell can calm a person down. Yeah, he's, he's getting through the process. He's doing good now. It's good when they can have such a quick turnaround and get out of here and move on with life. I've been working at Clark County Detention Center for eight years. Down in booking, it's 12 long hours on your feet. It's very rewarding, though. You know, after a long, hard day, that you've accomplished something, that you've done a, hard, done a lot for your community, done a lot for yourself. So what are you here for? I have no idea. You have no idea what you're in here for? No, no, no. There's an accident. You were in an accident? Were you driving? Yeah, I had full coverage insurance. OK, that's good, you know. Yeah. Does anybody hurt? Hell no, it's a fender bender. A fender bender, oh. Are you driving or what? You were driving. 
Yeah, you have to decide. No, I have not. Or did you guys just take all my clothes off? We don't want to take your That's clothes off. That's not what I want to do, okay? Ow. We're just okay, well, just, you're moving body. around too much, so just stay Ow. still. Ow. Come on. Ow. All right. All right. Sir. You're going to turn around here. Turn around. You're going to go all the way down there and see your medical staff. Oh, Press so right sorry. down there. Breast cancer said he had an accident. And then took off all his clothes, run around naked. He was out in the parking lot, run around, pulling his clothes off. Okay. That's not the case. I okay, okay. took off my shirt to show him my tattoo. Okay, well, you see. gotta understand that if a woman was just in a car accident, the last thing she's gonna expect is a man to get out of her car, out of his car, and start pulling his clothes off. They run around the parking lot, pulling his Dude, pants that's down. Not, I urinating. never pulled my pants down. You make it sound like I just took off my pants in front of my clothes and we're running around, so. We're gonna go right over here to this room over here. We're gonna do a few tests, all right? Where's right the issue? We want you to walk in a straight line, heel to toe. Keep your hands on your sides. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Heel to toe, Simone, you're walking sidestepping. You're walking sideways as you're walking. Heel to toe. Are you having difficulty doing this? Is yeah, it I am. Originally, you were arrested for uh, hit and run involved okay. in a traffic accident. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Subsequently, you failed sobriety tests because you refused I to do those. Listen, Simone. Test. I'm trying to explain it to you. You failed Can to do you... the test at the scene. You told the officers that you weren't No, I never said that. I said I would do them, and I said I'd take a breathalyzer. I never said well, that. We gave you the test, and you didn't do very well. Dude, I told you I haven't slept in so, two days. So what's going to happen is we're going we're to go back out to the front. Okay. Okay? We're going to go back out and see the nurse, Simone, Sorry. and I'm going to direct her to draw blood from you. You do not have a right to refuse that. You do not have a right to speak to attorney before blood's obtained. Okay? I'm not doing anything anymore. Okay. Okay? This, this is crazy. We'll go. We'll get it come done on. real come quick, on. and then you can get processed. Okay? Come on. Come on. No, I'm not doing nothing. You guys wouldn't even let me get a chance. Once I started getting it going, that's when you guys got mad and made me stop because I was doing it right. Come on. Let's go. This way. Just sit on that blue chair right there, man. I told you I do breathalyzer. How is that not an option? You're either going to voluntarily comply or we're going to take it by reasonable force. So what do you want to do, man? Do you want to just give it to us or do you, what do no, you want to do? No, I'm not doing it. I didn't do anything wrong. Did he just say no, he's not going to give it to us? Right, okay. right. Yeah, I didn't Can do anything wrong. Yeah, Are you guys serious? Stand up, Simone. What's going on? Stand up. Stand up and do Come what? On. We're going to go get your Come blood. On. From on, Simone. So instead of in this room, or that room, I'm not fighting you. Fine, I'll do it in this room. I'll do it in this room. Let's go. Cool. I'll do it in this room. Hey, hey your I'm shot. not fighting you. I'm not dude, quit twisting you. I'm not fighting you. Resisting. Dude, uh, I'm okay. not fighting you. Dude, you're twisting my arm. Dude, are you kidding me? What did I do? Ow. Let go of my neck, dude. So what's the full story on that guy? What happened out there? Two vehicle accident hit and run was dispatched. They went over to find out what happened, and the driver of the vehicle who caused the accident had ran from the scene. While they were there talking, a gentleman who came back appeared uh, distraught. Uh, the lady who was struck said he was ripping his clothes off in the middle of the road, like somebody on PCP or somebody high on another drug like cocaine. He's being charged with being under the influence, which is a felony in the state, and uh, hit and run with a DUI charge as a misdemeanor. And it seems like he's kind of passed out in the chair right now. Control 1093, we got one from booking. We'll get him upstairs, that way uh, our medical staff can keep an eye on him. He's been up and down the whole time, so. Simon, we're going to take you up here, let you cool down a little bit, OK? A little bit more, maybe you'll be able to come out of that chair, OK? Once we have him evaluated by medical staff, he'll probably be out of the chair in about an hour. Probably. Seems like he's coming out of it already, so maybe in a little bit more. Be yeah. all right. got notification that uh, Simone's going to be getting released from our jail and going over to the city due to the uh, crimes that he allegedly committed were in the jurisdiction of the city. When you first came in, you were like passed out. You were mouth open, out. So once in a while, we had to use ammonia to wake you back up. Do you remember that? No, nothing at all. You ever been like that before? Were you almost passed out? Don't remember everything? Yeah. Yeah. 
Just bit. from drinking? You know, stuff uh, like that, partying? I've been up for like days. Days? Do you take medication to keep you up? Uh, no, I've just been up like, gambling a lot. Doing what? Gambling and I was drinking a little bit. I wouldn't okay. say I was like, I wasn't drunk when you mm -hmm. guys took me in. I don't think. You were just tired? Because you passed out. You were out. Then we took you upstairs. You were upset, but you seemed a little bit calmer after I got you those phone calls. So. Yeah, then I was cool. You got to yeah. stay out of these situations that you got yourself into. So you got to yeah. avoid all that. All that. Not even be in that area of being close to doing what this is charging you with, OK? All right. So, so what are the charges that exactly? Uh, they had you under the influence DUI drugs, hit and run, and failure to rent aid. And one of those is a felony? Yes. OK. OK? All right, all right, man. Take it easy. All right. He's a totally different person, so hopefully he'll go to the city. He'll be able to take care of his charges and get out of jail. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight.